If you guys have got kids, you will know you always have to bring some bribery with you. So Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna be showing you what is in my bag. I don't think I've done one of these videos for over a year now, but I'm really, really nosy and I love watching these videos because weird as it might sound, I get kind of ideas about what maybe I should keep in my bag um, when I watch other people's videos like this. So yeah, I thought I would do one of these today, be a little bit different um, on my channel and um, yeah, show you what I carry around <laughs> in this backpack every single day of my life. So firstly, I'll start off with what bag I have got. So this is a Gaston Luger um, backpack. It's actually a Swedish company. So they sent me this backpack actually um, a couple of months ago and I've literally been wearing it every single day since. I don't know if it's because I've never had a backpack and now that I have realized I can go hands free because obviously I put these on both of my shoulders and then my hands are completely free to do whatever I need to do like hold Lulu's lead without having to carry a bag as well. So I've been absolutely loving this bag so much so I thought as I've been using it so much, I would show you what is in this bag. So first of all, I'll talk a bit about the bag. Um, like I said, it's made by Gaston Luger and um, the flap that goes over is a leathery material. It's got some gold hardware, like buckle hardware at the front. And then the rest of the bag is a canvas material with the straps being leather as well. It's got a really cool little pocket back here, which I've actually only just noticed. I reckon that must be for your phone, but I've got a really chunky case on my phone that's a charging case. So I don't think my phone will fit in there, but I'm just gonna try, hold on. Ooh, ooh it does, but it doesn't go all the way down. Oh, I might store it in there from now on actually. That's quite cool. Yeah, so you got a, <laughs> you've got a phone pocket at the back here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then when you lift up the leather flap it has got a drawstring top which obviously closes the bag together and then when you open that and open the bag out you have got one big compartment a smaller back compartment and then off the smaller back compartment you've got two even smaller co compartments which i guess you would put maybe your mobile phone in there your keys in there and things like that so um it's a really really good size i have got so much in here as you will see um and there's still actually space for more. So I take this when I go out for days with the kids and things like that because it's basically got a buffet in here and it'll just have loads of their bits. I've got lots of like doggy things in here and also some makeup, but I'm gonna take everything out now and show you what is in here um, and what I carry around on my back every day. So first of all, I thought I would start off with this. Oh, here we go, yeah. So when you order this bag, actually this little, um, clear makeup bag it comes with it as well so this is it says at the top gaston luger and then it's got like a really nice black detail here and what i love most about it is that it's clear so whatever you have in here you can see so when you go in and you dig around in here it's just easy to kind of locate what you want um and get it out really easily um so i always keep this in my bag and i actually went to an event yesterday so i have got some of my makeup in here still from the event because whenever i go up there I like to take like some, oh, my battery's about to die. Wait one second. Right, so as I was saying, um, when I go up to events, I like to take some extra makeup with me because it's about an hour and a half on the train to get up to London. So by the time I get there, I feel like I kind of need to reapply, cover up my spots, put a bit of lipstick on, and I always just take up some like mascara just in case I want to put a bit extra on to last me through the day. So in here, I have got um, I have got this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Coverage. It's a, like it's a serum concealer, and it's so good. I got the Bare Minerals one because I have been breaking out in quite a few spots recently. And um, when I went to uh, Boots one day, they I, there was like a Bare Minerals counter, and I was talking to the lady about it, and she said this is really good to put on spots if you've just kind of attacked them. <laughs> Um, because it's all just got minerals in it so it doesn't actually affect the spot and it won't clog it up and everything like that so I got some of this and it's brilliant I've had it for ages and it just lasts forever and ever and ever um, and then I have got my little applicator brush as well this is also a bare minerals 
um, brush and it's just like, so when I put it under my eyes, my bags, this is what I use. And then obviously because it's still got some of this stuff on, I can just cover up some of my spots as well. So I always take those two events with me. I think those are like my go-to for makeup. I'm not like one of those people who wears loads and loads of makeup, but I definitely, definitely wear concealer. I've also got this double wear stay in place lip pencil. I actually think it needs a sharpen. Yeah, needs a sharpen, so I don't use that very often. But I think now I'm going to sharpen it. It's um, number 32 Garnet, and it's a really, really nice autumn colour. Um, so I do use that when it's sharp, but at the moment it's not sharp. I've got two lipsticks. I've got one MAC one, which is this bright, bright red one. I do love it, um, but I do have to feel a bit daring to wear it. This is called Fashion Legacy, and it's one of those stay-on lipsticks. So you put it on, and it's literally not meant to come on, uh, not meant to come off all day. I actually had this on yesterday, and even last night when I went to have a shower, I just looked in the mirror for a minute, and it was still on my lips, not like all over, because where I had eaten and stuff, it rubbed off. But round the outside, it was still on, so it really does work. Um, and then this other lipstick I have got is a Bobbi Brown. This is my new favourite lipstick. It's called Bear Truth by Bobbi Brown, and it's just such a lovely colour. It's one of those colours you can wear with absolutely anything, and it just goes. It blends really well. I am an autumn, like I don't know if you guys have ever had your colours done, and they tell you what the best colours are to wear for your skin shade, and I'm an autumn. And this colour just goes really, really nicely. So I just got this the other day, actually. I've got some mascara. My favourite mascara at the moment is this Maybelline one. I just got it from Amazon. Um, yeah, I, I think it's about six pounds and I really like it. So that's the kind of um, mascara I go to at the moment. I have also got some Lady Millions Lucky um, perfume and, oh, lip balm. And then I have actually got two different um, hand creams as well. My hands in the winter literally feel like they're falling off. They're like rough as sandpaper. So I always have um, hand creams with me because, um, yeah, I always have to apply it on. I've got one Prosecco one. I think I got that for Christmas last year. And then I've got this white jasmine luxury hand cream. Can't remember where that's from. I've got some soap of this at home as well. Um, I can't remember where I got it from. Anyway, two hand creams, and then I have also got two hair clips, because quite often when I wear my hair down in daytime, by the time it gets to about two or three, I just want to get it off my face. So I like to have some hair grips in my bag that I can just stick my hair up with. So that's everything I keep in there. Then I have also got my diary. Oh, I love this diary so much. This is my Mulberry organizer. It's probably about 10 years old now. I got it in duty free one year when I went to Heathrow and um, it is expensive, but like I said, I've had it for about 10 years. So every year I just buy the insets and I've not quite um, modernized my life yet and I haven't quite gone onto my phone to have a digital, um, organizer or um, calendar. I like to see things written down, which is why I think I just love this calendar so much. So like I said, every year I buy my inserts and then you get at the bottom of the page, there's these little like corner bits that you can rip off. So you, once you finish a week, you can rip them off. So it's easy to find where you are in your diary. And then also you have got like a note section at the back. You've also got a place where you can keep everyone's addresses. And then I have got a little bit at the side to store a pen there. And then it just like clips together really nicely. And it's not that big as well. And I feel like it doesn't take up loads of space in my bag. So especially this one. Um, so yeah, that's why I just love it so much. Maybe one day I'll take the leap and go digital, but <laughs> considering my whole life is like digital, it's quite weird that I have a diary that I need to write in. Right, next up I have got two glasses cases. So these glasses are um, St. Laurent glasses. I got them from Boots Opticians. I love them so much. So um, I actually got them tinted with uh, reflective things so that when you drive at night you um, don't get a glare in your eyes but I absolutely love them I get so many compliments on these glasses and now I've just put them on I can see everything so much more clearly um, so yeah I always keep those with me because I'm actually meant to wear them 
more often than I do, but um, they kind of go upstairs with me to um, work on the computer, they come downstairs, they go out and about. So if I just keep them in my bag, then I know exactly where they are. I've also got the, <laughs> these, which are actually Chris's. These are Ray-Bans and um, I can't ruddy well find my glasses anywhere which I'm really annoyed about so because it's been so sunny recently I just have stolen these off Chris and I have no idea if they even suit me but I'd rather be wearing glasses than not wearing glasses so I have just been wearing these and then <laughs> putting them straight into my bag because I have no idea where I could have put my other glasses I've got some like round Ray-Ban ones um, and yeah so this is what I've been wearing, but like I said, these aren't actually mine. So those two glasses are always kept in my bag because I'm terrified I'll lose these ones as well. And then I really won't have a single pair of glasses to wear. Um, and then that's everything in my like main compartment of my bag. And then if I go to the front two little compartments, I've got poo bags. Lulu poo bags. <laughs> Those are pretty essential when you've got a dog because, you know, I'm constantly taking her out places. And then if I didn't have poo bags, that would just be an absolute nightmare. Um, so I've always got some of those in my bag. In the other compartment, I've got some chewing gum. And then in the back compartment, this is like the kind of second biggest compartment. Oh, look. Ooh. I've got snacks. This is like, <laughs> you guys have got kids. You will know you always have to bring some bribery with you. So these are my bribery snacks for the kids. They don't know they're in my bag. Um, and they will always just think I suddenly just like, oh, oh, I've got you this. Can you now do this for me? So I've got two packets of buttons, a fudge and a Freddo. So I've got those. I always like to keep a little bit of something in my bag. Quite often, actually, I have like a banana or an apple in there because um, when the boys play football, when they finish football, they like to have a little snack and I often forget to take anything with me. So if I've got some fruit in my bag, then um, that's what I'll give them. Um, right, I've got my car keys. And lastly, I've got my wallet. This is also a Gaston Luger wallet. And I usually have my Mulberry um, wallet, but it's quite a lot bigger than this. It's probably about double the size but when they sent me this bag they sent me this um wallet as well and I thought it was really really cute so it's got um two little like pockets for your cards on the front and the same on the back and then it's got a zip round the front and two little compartments for all your money I have got about £1.13 in here today. <laughs> I'm absolutely rolling in it. And then also this little like tag, come tag? Wrist strap? Yeah, this little wrist strap comes with it so you can have this on or off. You're right, Lily. <laughs> you can have this wrist strap on or off. But I quite like it on because sometimes if I don't want to take my whole bag out and I'm just popping to the shops, I'll just take my wallet like this and it saves me having to carry it. I can just kind of go like this and use my hands and then pick it up again. I think it's quite good. You're right. So basically that is everything in my bag. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. A little bit or something different to be on my channel but yeah I hope you liked it all the same thank you so much for watching um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up so I know to make more kind of things along this line along this line along the lines of this and um, I'll see you guys again next time bye let me come and say bye say bye say bye everyone say bye she's like can we go on a walkies now because she said poo bag <laughs> say bye